Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Tinu and today we're going to be creating this soft, natural, affordable prom makeup tutorial. If you guys love this look so far, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and otherwise stay tuned for the tutorial. First off, I'm going to be priming my eyes with the LA Girl Pro Primer Base in Nude. We're going to apply that all over the lid and blend it out with our fingers. The eyeshadow I'm using today is from ColourPop. It's called Bandit. We're going to be using that with a long fluffy brush and applying that as a transition color. Next shade I'm going into is called Melrose. It's a very nice warm tone brown shade. We're going to be applying that in the outer V area and also in the crease as well. And then we're going into Middens. It's just a dark matte brown shade. We're going to concentrate that right under Melrose, making sure we add a little bit depth to this look. I really want there to be depth, but not too much where it's so obvious. Now we're going back into bandits. We're gonna blend everything all through. This is very this is a very simple eye look. So we're just gonna replace some of the bandit we lost when we were blending other shadows with it. And then for the lid area, I'm going into Milonier. It's like Milonier, but with an N. We're gonna be tapping that on the lid and using the brush to apply some of it and leaving a little bit of the tail end alone. Then for the rest of the lid, we're going with DGAF. It's another ColourPop eyeshadow. It's like a rose gold. We're going to apply that to the tail end of the lid. Then we're going into Crimper. It's a really nice champagne gold. We're going to apply that as a brow bone highlight and make sure that when we're done, we're going to go back into that brush that we used to apply Bandit to kind of blend the harsh lines out. And then we're gonna be lining our eyes with NYC's liquid liner in black. So I'm just doing a really nice standard wing liner, but it's a little different because I don't bring the liner so thick towards the inner corners. And then for my face, I'm applying the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. We're gonna apply that all over the face and blend it in. And then I'm going to color correct with the LA Go Pro Conceal in Orange Corrector. We're applying that to the dark areas around my face. And then we're going to take a beauty blender to blend everything seamlessly. Now I'm going with the L Flawless Foundation. And then I'm going to apply the Liquid Illuminator from NYX. I'm going to place the foundation first and then we're applying that illuminator to the highlight portions of the face. And then we're blending everything together. And this is going to give a nice dewy look. Next, we're going with the Maybelline Age Rewind in medium to deep. I'm applying that as my highlight for my under eye area. Then we're going with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Cafe. We're going to apply that on top so that we can bring it down a little bit and all over the rest of my highlight areas. And then we're going to take that Beauty Blender and blend everything really, really good. To set my highlight, I'm going with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette. We're going with that yellow tone powder and we're going to apply that in the highlight areas of the face. Now we're going to our City Color Contour Palette. We're going to mix those two dark shades and use that to contour our face. As you guys noticed, I didn't apply any cream contour in this look. I just wanted it to be as natural as possible. Next, we're going back into the darkest shade. We're going to sculpt under those cheekbones and apply it right directly under the lighter contour. Next, we're going into Black Radiance Blush in Raspberry. I'm actually really disappointed in this blush. I guess the time for this blush to go in the trash has come, but I'm going to apply another one on top of it. 
then we're going back to the lower lash line. We're gonna be applying the Melrose eyeshadow from ColourPop all over the lower lash line. And then we're gonna take Mittens, the dark brown. We're gonna be using a detailed brush to apply that close to the lower lash line as possible. If not possible, close to the rim. And then we're smudging it out really well. And then we're going with Makeup Forever's liner in ME42. That's the only high-end thing I used in this look because I couldn't find a bronze pencil in my stash. And then we're going back into Crimper. We're going to use that and apply that in the inner tear duct. It's just going to bring a lot of life to the eyes and make your eyes look more brighter and awake. Then I'm going to be applying some coats of mascara. This is Maybelline Pump Up Colossal Mascara. And I'm applying this to the top and bottom lashes. For my lashes, I'm going into Red Cherry Lashes in number 82. My absolute favorite. Oh god, lashes. I swear to god, they're awesome. And then we're going to use the mascara to blend my lashes with the fake lashes. Now we're going to be applying the real blush. This is Colourpop blush in Never Been Kissed. We're just going to tap that on the cheekbones. And then we're going with Colourpop's highlighter in Whips. Like Whips. <laughs> we're going to use that. Oh my god, this highlight is bombdiggity.com. Like really. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye, bye. Now we're going to line our lips with ColourPop's lip liner in BFF3. As you guys notice, I'm using a lot of ColourPop products. I just really was filling it today. That's why I'm using them. Now we're going with Birth Bees Satin Lipstick in Suede Splash. It's a very sheer lipstick of the type, but it still gives me a lot of life to the lips. Then we're topping it off with City Color Beauty's lip gloss. This is their Argan lip gloss in Girl Next Door. It's absolutely stunning. And here is the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this look. If you really enjoy this look, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. It's all in the bottom bar. And all the products will be listed as well. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.